Okay, so this video is going to be about skincare if you haven't caught on yet. Um, it takes a lot of products to look young and fresh, <laughs> <laughs> clearly. <laughs> and um, we try all sorts of products, as you guys know, um, but today's video is specifically on top-notch uh, skincare products yep. that we know work because they've worked on us. We've been using it consistently. There's um, one Trader Joe's one in here, but it's okay. The rest And of one Vaseline, I see. <laughs> the rest I, is top-notch. And by the way, this is my section. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, Nora And Ani brought like three products. Nora has pigment issues and melasma issues, so you require more products to maintain your melasma problem. No, I have one extra product for that. <laughs> I brought variety. <laughs> but uh, Ani is but the type is that- This is what I use. Ani, I'm not gonna pretend I use products I don't use and bring extra stuff with. No, I, I know. Ani is the type of person that buys one product, she likes it and she uses it for like her, her lifetime. Yeah. And I'm the one who you likes to switch things up because I like see a commercial or I'll see someone Basically, talking about Nora it. Nora buys all of the sponsored ads that she sees on Instagram. Yeah, I have Facebook. to try it out to see if it works, right? And then um, I will try a product and if I see results, like I am a loyal um yeah, but you need to switch that. things up to I shock do. your I don't skin. switch them up as often as you do, but I still switch them up. And currently, these are my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna go through each one and tell you guys why um, we like it. Okay, so let's start with face wash or makeup removers yep. and like basically things that are gonna get rid of all the crap that we have on our face during the daytime. Okay. Um, for makeup remover, this is my go-to. I've had this for, I think it's lasted me like, I don't know, a year now. The um, makeup water removers are really, really popular right now, and they they actually work really, really well. Yeah. I have this as well, and I, I, I honestly, I just forgot to bring it, but I can vouch for this one. Yeah, so it's the Chlorine Laboratories uh, Floral Water Makeup Remover, and I promise you guys, we will have the links where look down in the description, and uh -huh. there's gonna be links to all of these products down um, in the description. So it's the Chlorine, and this one is not that expensive, it's affordable, so um, it really, really, uh, removes your makeup and, and what a little I like bit goes a long way too and what I like about this one is that it's water-based so if you have eyelash extensions you could actually use this to remove your makeup there's no oil yep. so tada love that one okay face wash I have two different ones I alternate um, I have the Paula's Choice optimal results hydrating cleanser it's like a lotion based cleanser and I'm not usually usually a fan of lotion based cleansers yeah. but this one is amazing it actually removes my makeup that is the biggest test for me for I'm a usually face not wash. a lotion fan either. yeah but it removes my makeup and once a week I use the Kate Somerville eradicate daily foaming cleanser um, it has sulfur 3% sulfur in here it's an acne treatment so just to like maintain not getting acne yeah um, I use this once a week oh, and it really helps that. yeah you should actually because you get like monthly hormonal um, things I do. When you're that about Nora to, likes to point when, out. She, when she's about to get her period, what, she'll get. What, what is, was the name of? The what pimple? did you name my pimple? Last I forgot. Time? It was right here. It's always the same place too. Yeah, it's always like right here. <laughs> Uh, Dolores. Dolores. I haven't seen Dolores. Yeah. You have a mini Dolores right here. Oh, thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> Maybe you should use oh, a new yeah. product. But so I um, used to buy my husband the little treatment of this, yeah. um, where you dip a Q-tip and put it on the spot. It's like a spot treatment. But this one is basically the foaming cleanser. We both use it. He uses it every day because he has more acne than I do. I use it once a week to maintain the no acne face. I'm totally gonna get this. Alrighty. Okay, so the face wash that I have been obsessed with, this is actually my second bottle, is this Darf Darfin Darfin mm -hmm. brand. Um, it's from Paris. It's a real, it's a Parisian oh. brand. Not that it's from Paris, but it's a Parisian brand. Um, <laughs> and I love this because it's a cleansing foam gel with water lilies. It's good for skin types. Um, I I think I just really like the texture. Like it's a gel, and then it becomes foamy, and it really takes off all of my makeup. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just such a big fan of this, and I like I said, it's like a kind of like a more recent find, but this is my second bottle so really loving the space wash cool. i only have one okay um 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a weekly treatments. Okay. Because, you know, there's daily stuff that you should do, but then there's also weekly things that you should be doing to maintain your, um, the skin or like what you want to get out of your skin. I have three different products that I, alt I alternate. <laughs> um, I don't Wait, use do these use, three. No, do you use I don't. one a week and then the next one a different one? Yeah. You alternate three? Yeah. So I use the Paula's Choice again. You guys, I really like this product. I just discovered it and um, they carry it at Nordstrom's. Their prices are like, they're higher than drugstore, but they're not like the crazy La Mer prices, yeah. for example. They're a good um, balance. It's the Pol Paula's Choice um, Glycolic Acid. Okay. So basically this is like a little peel. It's not really a peel, like a super, super, super light peel that I apply on my face once a week. Yeah. And it really, I see, like you feel it tingling. It, it, it like kind of refreshes your skin. You it know what I mean? It reveals dramatically younger looking skin, increases firmness and repairs damage. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then I also have retinol. So I was I'm such a hack. So SkinCeuticals, their products are amazing. Love SkinCeuticals. Um, I had gotten this retinol and I didn't read the instructions that you should be applying it only like once a week, I think. I was applying it every day and my husband was applying it every day. His eyes were all red. I was getting all red. So then I realized you're supposed to only apply retinol yeah. once a week. So now I've been using retinol once a week because fun fact, you guys, the reason my husband was using it as well, he did research, he's the research guy, it's so annoying. He's like, well, nothing is proven here, but I did some research and studies show that retinol is the only thing that's proven yeah. for anti-aging. Um, and to get rid of, uh, proven to get rid of wrinkles, like lighten the look of wrinkles. All right. So you heard it here, guys. Use retinol once a week in your um, skin regimen, you guys. And then for mask, and sometimes I actually use this as a nighttime cream. Um, uh, it's the La Mer Intensive Revitali Revitalizing Mask. Yeah. And it, uh, it has. I've had this for about. You've had it for a long time. A long time, yeah. and it's still. I still have a lot in there. You just put a little amount, and it's basically like a really heavy moisturizer. So when I, my face is feeling dry, yeah, I use this. Okay, moving on to toners. I recently discovered this rose water facial toner. I know it's from Trader Joe's, which is really weird, but I saw a bunch of beauty bloggers talking about it, and I was like, okay, like, it's not just one. It was like literally five or six of them talking about it because it is a new product at Trader Joe's. And I got it, and I actually really like it. You want? Sure. Mm, it smells like rose. It smells like rose, right? It's really yeah. great. It was just a few bucks, so I got it, and I can like throw it in my bag. It refreshes my face, so I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, for toner, I use, um, mine is not so much a toner, like a refresher, it's like to do something. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> um, it's the Paracone MD Exfoliating Pore Refiner. So I use this after the shower on a, um, I get like a cotton pad yeah. and I put this on here and it's supposed to help um, with your pores. Have I seen a difference? I don't think you really do, but it like, you don't like actually see a difference. But it just makes you feel better about yourself. It's just like, yeah, I'm using a pore refiner. The next day I put some foundation. I'm like, wow, my pores look good. Yeah. No, but on, in all honesty, I've only used this much of it. I still haven't seen a difference, um, but it has amazing reviews and Paracone's products are really good. They are really good. So it's just an added product that I use um, in my whole grand scheme of things. In the 900 products that she uses. Next up is eye cream, you guys. Um, for eye cream, I have uh, two products. This one I know is amazing. And I've actually, every time I use this, like in a consistent basis, by the way, when you're using any product, if you're not using it for consistently, two, consistently for two months, you're not gonna see results. So I always give my product about three months, like two to three months um, where I see a difference. This one, Clarins, I love. It's the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Do you um, see a difference with this one? Yes, and it's actually, this is my second bottle that's empty. Whoa. Yeah, there is, I literally Okay, because I actually have don't have there. an eye cream because I've never found one that I actually like. This so one I'm not is committed amazing. to any eye cream. Yeah, Clarins is amazing. I may have to invest in this. I love all Clarins products. By the way, all this these This is a problem now because now I'm gonna go buy like five things that she's like, this is amazing, and I wake up the next day 17 years younger. <laughs> but really, so Clarins, 
Clarence has amazing products. They also have the double serum, which I'm actually out of. I've used three of those products. She has. And my girlfriend, I bought her, I always buy everyone skincare for their birthdays. She, I bought her the double serum and she messaged me last week saying, hey, just a heads up, I went to my facial and my facialist asked me if I got Botox. Oh, no way. I'm like, oh man. She's like, I've been using the double serum every day. On your I'm face? like, yeah. She's like, yeah. And she's like, everyone keeps asking me like, what's this glow? Like, what did you do? And it's the double serum. So I'm out of the Clarins Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Yeah. Um, this is my second bottle that I'm out of. And I had I had gone to a facial and I ended up buying the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Eye Wait, Eraser. Wait, you got convinced into buying skincare? <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, she didn't even convince me, the girl. Uh, she applied it on me. I'm like, oh, that feels good. It was like a serum-y kind yeah. of concentrate. And she's like, oh, it's our new um, war uh, wrinkle warrior Do you eye feel concentrate. Like it's, working? Um, it's too soon to tell, but uh, what I like about it, it's not even like. I don't think it's a visible dark circle eraser. The reason I like it is I have really dry skin and when I apply it in the morning, it actually like refreshes uh, my under eye area. I yeah. always need to wear eye cream because if it's dry, that's how like you get your wrinkles, you know what I mean? So I have to always keep this area hydrated okay. and I feel like it's doing the trick. Well, I feel like you sold me on the Clarence one. So okay, yes, this one So for far, sure. Clarence and the Kate Somerville, I'm sold. <laughs> okay, what should we move on to next? Um, let's do serums. Okay, serums. Um, I am a big serum fan. Um, the problem is I like oil-free serums, which are kind of harder to find. So for the daytime, I really love this uh, Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Oil-Free Serum. I feel like it gives me like a tiny hint of a glow, and I specifically like to wear this underneath my makeup because I'm very limited to glowy products that I can use that won't make me like super shiny. Yeah. And this one just gives like a hint of a glow and it smells really, really good. So yeah. this is like my daytime, I'm going to wear makeup, I want to like look refreshed and glowy. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love this. And then for nighttime, I have a completely different situation. For nighttime, I use, I love the, how do you pronounce it? Kadali? Kadali. 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 Uh, the Vino Perfect Radiant Serum, and this is a correcting serum. I've been using this for a while. This is, I think, maybe my third bottle. You bought me this from Paris as well, I remember, yes, when you went. Yes, because it is so freaking good. Um, this one just constantly gives me, uh, like, I... I know this sounds like cheesy, but I feel like it gives me like a youthful um, complexion. complexion. I don't know what it is about it. Like it just, it brightens up my skin. It makes me look healthy and, and glowy and I just love it. I'm just such a big fan of this. Those are my two serums. Um, here's 400 of mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, for serums, let's see. Okay. I don't know if these are so much, I have, this is a serum, but these are so what I love about SkinCeuticals is they have like different products for everything, like different kind of serums. Whatever your skincare problem is or concern is, they, they have, have like a range for, for it. it. Yeah. So, and what they do is like, they have like little labels here that says prevent, correct. So I apply the Floridine CF, which is an antioxidant treatment as a prevent, a preventative um, serum. It's literally like, just a serum. It doesn't, it's not a, there's no smell to it. It smells a little coffee-ish. Yeah, you're a sucker for smells. I am. <laughs> and everything is rose. You, I For me, if it's like too much scenty, that means it's like they're overshadowing. It doesn't, it's not a product that works. <laughs> you know how I am the sponsored ad queen? Yeah. You're like, if it smells good, you'll buy it. Yeah. But it's like, is it gonna like, really work? It's like the smell, who cares? But it cares? smells so good. Um, for the skin, um, so for serum, I use the H8 intensifier. It helps amplify skin's hyaluronic acid levels. So basically this is hyaluronic acid, which yeah. you should definitely be using on your skin. I use this every morning and every night before I apply my moisturizer. And it's also oil-free or what it feels like oil-free. Um, it's very serum-y. How do you remember what order to go in? Oh, yeah. I just have it down at this point. Actually, Nora did a really informative video on the order of skincare. Yeah, we'll put we'll like a link up right there. there. Um, should I go into my melasma stuff or should we like finish and then I'll go into okay, my melasma Okay, let's treatment. finish and then you'll go That's into like the melasma. added thing that yeah, I have to deal with. Yeah, that's your bonus section. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go into face oils. Okay. Um, again, Caudalie brand. Uh, actually, you told me about this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the overnight detox oil and this is a nighttime oil. A little bit goes a long way, so I know that it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I feel like I've 
had this bottle forever and I've been using it forever. Um, it literally says to apply six drops, not seven, not five, but six <laughs> drops in the evening. And again, I feel like this is one of those things that I have in my routine that just makes my skin look young and youthful and really healthy and I'm just a big fan of it. Man, I forgot I have this one. I should take it out. It's like that's the problem with getting so many different products. But here's I, the I thing. Forget. I don't like the smell. smell. Good. Smell it? Yeah. It actually smells like it works. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell. I've been using the, and it's only been, I, I want to say, a month, so it's not at the two-month mark, you guys. It's the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. Um, so it's, again, corrects the visible appearance of skin fatigue. Like, oils are great refreshers and yeah. like to keep your skin hydrated. I use them day and night. I know you're picky about using oils I don't like daytime. to use it during the day because I'm so oily. And by the way, just because you have oily skin does not mean that you can't use oil on your face. Yeah, that's what Ani used to think until we... Let her have it. Do you smell this one? Mm, it smells good. Yeah. So it doesn't work? No. <laughs> it's my seal of approval yeah. for smell. Um, what I like about this one is it's super light. So it, like even though it's an oil, it doesn't really feel like an oil on your face. Um, so when you apply your makeup, it's yeah. not like aggressive. It's really light. Okay. Should we go into... Moisturizers. Moisturizers. Uh, SkinCeuticals. I am obsessed with this moisturizer. This is the Age Interrupter, a mature skin treatment to help reverse the erosion of elasticity. I hate that it says mature skin because it makes me feel sad about myself. But <laughs> it really works. And this is like, it's I'm like really actually thick. almost done with it. But like, feel how thick this one is. Yeah. And I use this um, mostly at nighttime, especially if I have like it's one of those days where like I just feel like my skin is dry or I took off my makeup and my skin just feels like it needs some type of moisture. This is super, super hydrating. Um, so I usually use this at nighttime. Skin SkinCeuticals. I have the La Mer. Um, I use the moisturizing cream. They have, th I think it's three or four different kinds. They have like the gel, they have the light soft cream. Um, I use the moisturizing, which is the thickest. I have um, dry skin. So for me, um, uh, the moisturizing cream, which is their thicker version. Yeah. And it's a very sad moment when you're running out of La Mer. That's why I didn't bring mine because I ran out. I have literally maybe like three days worth of yeah. um, product in there left. And Did you get those little scoopers? So you I do. Get, yeah. I have, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I've been, I literally, this is the product that I probably have gotten. Anytime anyone's buying me a gift, I'm like, buy me La Mer. Yeah. Like, please buy me La Mer because I don't want to buy it because it's expensive. But, um, I've, this is like my fifth or sixth bottle. I really, really, really do see a difference yes. in my skin when I'm using La Mer. I don't Honestly, care what anyone says. Honestly, it lives says. up to the hype. I know it's expensive, but it actually really does work. It is the most amazing moisturizer I've ever had in my life, and I'm out of it, and that's why I don't have it. And you know what the thing is about skincare, you guys? Like, I don't have perfect skin, so I'm using all these expensive products. Yeah, um, but I don't have perfect skin. I have melasma. I deal with poor issues. That's like These are genetic things that I have yeah. to deal with um but i my skin could be more wrinkly yeah. than it could be worse it could be worse like for example i see other people that are younger than me who have jacked up skin and you could tell <laughs> Really? Jacked up skin. They do. Like, I'll see 25-year-old girls or 23-year-old <laughs> girls, and they have, like... Because when you're in your 20s, you're drinking. Yeah. You're not hydrated. You're not you're applying... You're sleeping with your makeup on. You're sleeping with your makeup on. You're not applying any sort of yeah. moisturizer, serums, or anything. And it really messes you up. And that's the thing that I did since I was 17, 18 years old, is start a skincare regimen. Because you don't understand. You think you're young, and it... it you think like you're gonna stay that way forever you're really not the reality yeah. is that you need to start you gotta take care young. of your skin you need to take care of your skin or else you'll pay for it in your 30s i got a girl say say to me and jonathan the other day she's uh, like she was younger than us and she found out our age and she's uh, like whoa i thought you guys were like 29 i'm like yes, yes! And you know, you don't have to spend a fortune. I know we're talking about more high-end stuff, but there's a lot of really great drugstore um, anti-aging or hydrating or moisturizing products that you can That we actually have at stuff. home, but this yeah. video was specifically for um, the high-end stuff. Yeah. If you want us to do a video on the drugstore, drugstore stuff, which we have a lot of, I actually have a lot of Whole Foods products that I use at, uh, at home as well yep. that I alternate in this little thing. Let us know in the comments if you guys want to see this. Okay, wait, we still have... 
a little more to go. So speaking about uh, keeping your skin on protecting the your skin, side, protecting it, sunscreen so important. I wish that I used sunscreen every single day in my twenties, and I totally did not. I know. I'm paying for it, like, guys. It's just a lesson you learn. But now I will not leave the house without sunscreen. And we both have two uh, different sunscreens, but we both actually have also used each other's sunscreen and they're both really amazing. The one that I use every day is the Sashado Urban Environment Oil Free one. I really like this one because it's oil free and it does not make me look greasy looking at all. Um, I can wear this underneath my makeup. It won't make any difference in my makeup at all. Um, this just works really, really well on my skin. So if you have oily skin, try this one out you can literally go to the counter and ask them for a sample before you commit to it um and try it out and see if you like it this one's really good for everyday wear like if you're just literally everyday like wear. you're not necessarily under the sun but you're just gonna be yeah. running errands you're going to work you're doing this this is a perfect girls if one. you're in your 20s and you're watching this use spf yes. okay listen to me because i am still struggling with it i was that annoying girl that thought like i was gonna stay young forever and i would never get a sunspot no i didn't even know what a sunspot was no one told us how important spf on your face was when exactly we were in our 20s. and now i suffer yeah. from melasma uh, and i have to do all this extra stuff to prevent it to yeah. get it from getting worse and then like every season is like a disaster so the one I use um, when I'm at the beach, when I'm at a pool party, when I'm gonna be exposed to direct sunlight is the La Roche Passay oh. one. Um, this has been voted number one SPF for like the last several years. Yeah. It is no joke, you guys. I have this and I use it for um, my knees, which is uh, where you're supposed to always apply SPF to because that's another sign of aging, your knees. I did not know that. Right above your knees and your face. So I wish someone handed this product to me when I was 17 years old and I would just like literally see the sun and just bake. Oh my God, we wouldn't even put sunblock on. Oh, it was like oil. Disaster. Do you not remember the baby oil baby we oil. used to use? Oh oh. But I use this all the time when I know I'm going to be under the sun. If I'm going to a pool party, if I'm going to a beach party, this is an amazing one to actually really protect you from the sun. This is more for every day. Every day, exactly. Should I start with the one you made fun of me for? Sure. Good old Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is the aloe one. Okay. It's good. It's a few bucks. Throw it in my bag. Works mm -hmm. like a charm. I put this on every night. My favorite is the Clarins uh, Moisturizing Replenishing Lip Balm. You guys, this is the best lip balm ever. I have it's pretty like, good. I'm I, not gonna lie. Yeah, I have chapped lips problems, so I because we use so much of the lip um, paints. Yeah. And that screws up your freaking lips, man. But after I discover this at night when I apply it in the morning, I wake up no chapped lips. Um, None. But it is expensive. A bigger bottle. This is actually the sample because <laughs> um, I refuse to buy the uh, full size one. I. I this is my third sample bottle. <laughs> Shh, don't tell guys, them. Guys, go ask for samples yeah. before you commit to something. <laughs> Clarence has awesome full size yeah. samples, I'm yeah. just saying. Um, but it's 28 bucks, it is on the higher end, but I guarantee you, you will be addicted. All right. Mic drop. Oh shit. Okay, and then last but not least, melasma treatment. So, for melasma, what I do is every fall I start treatments. Um, I do lasers and I do micro needling, and I feel like it really does help me. And I, what a big difference it made for you! Wow. Yeah. So I do clear and brilliant and micro needling. The downside about melasma is yes, I work in the fall time and the winter time to get rid of it, and it does go away. Right when summer comes along, yeah. it comes in screws me over because it's not only direct sea, uh, sun um, activated, it's heat activated as well. So when my body's overheating, um, my melasma is coming back. So what I do to maintain like consistency is the skin sort of, these are the two products that I've seen that work that don't have hydroquinone. So a lot of people, like when I talked about my melasma on Instagram and even here have left me comments saying, oh, you should use this product. You should use this one. It's proven to help. Yes, those are great because they have hydroquinone hydroquinone what if you don't that? know what it, it's bleaching cream uh -huh. i refuse to put bleaching cream on my face because i've read a lot of bad things about it and i'm yes dermatologists give it to you prescribe it all of this i've read bad things about it like it could cause cancer and this and that and it, like just by reading the fact that it could be a little bad for you yeah. 
I don't want to deal with it. So you know what? I'll deal with my melasma with lasers and uh, but micro needling. You know, I noticed the difference on your skin from these. Like because I've been like, Nora, what, what have you been using? Like your melasma looks really good. So these two products, my doctor told me I could use when I was pregnant. And when I was pregnant, I wasn't doing micro needling or lasers. And I was only using these two. And usually when you're pregnant, you do get more melasma. Yeah. Mine went away because I, this is the only thing that I could say that I was doing before my melasma. Yeah. So it must work, right? Um, it's the Skin SkinCeuticals Advanced Pigment Corrector. Amazing. And it's the Skin SkinCeuticals Botanical Gel for hyperpigmentation. I'll leave the links below, but like I said, these were the only two products I used during my pregnancy. I didn't get any lasers, and my melasma was at its best ever. Yeah. Ani was like tripping up. I was how, like, I can't believe it. Like creams and lotions and everything has like helped your melasma that much. I was really impressed yeah. by it to the point where I even noticed it. So yeah, say no to bleaching creams because they're not good for you. <laughs> and yeah. That's it, you guys. We're gonna leave the links to um, in oh, the description. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention: oh. hand cream. Always important. It doesn't yeah. matter what brand you use because you'll start to see aging on your hands and, and your knees neck and, and your neck. Knees. Use some moisturizing hand cream. It doesn't matter where it is, whatever it's from. So, if you guys want us to do the drugstore version of um, basically this this, type, this video, <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions regarding. Uh, anything we talked about today leave it in the comments below and yes we understand that this was a high end but that's the specific video that we're doing um it was meant to be yep. all high-end product um yeah and we will see you next time bye guys